Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is certainly good to be back on here. Haven't done a video in about a week. It is the middle of the week and we have some big news today. Some of you guys who have seen the the short that I did, yes, the Ford uh, Fairlane is up for sale. It is currently on uh, ebaymotors.com uh, under 66 Fairlane. And if you uh, look on there, I mean, I'm going to offer a very, very, very good deal on there right now because uh, uh, what it's listed for, I'm actually going to probably sell it for um, a bit less. Um, I'll be offering it with the the stock wheels and tires that came on it um, at a bigger discount. So. Go on there and if you're interested in the Fairlane, make me an offer, a decent offer. I mean, what I have it listed for is not much more uh, than I uh, I have into it so far. So check that out. Uh, man, one minute, let me tell you about it. Uh, one of the things that I love so much about this Ford Maverick, um, I guess it's actually three things and especially this time of year. Uh, this is a very busy time of year for me in the business uh, that I am in on my job. So we stay, <laughs> we are so busy. And that's one of the reasons why you don't see too many videos this time of year from me. Um, at the beginning of the day uh, here in Virginia, for those of you guys who may think that it's warm here most of the time, it's frosty. It's frosty in the mornings. Uh, temperatures are in the 20s. And I, I know that's not cold for some of you guys who live up north, but for here in Virginia, that's that's really cold. So one of the things that I particularly love about my Maverick is the fact that I can start it from inside. It's warmed up when I get here. The windshield is completely clean because I'm able to start it up. Now, you can go on your Ford Pass app and program in what time of the morning that you want it to uh, start up uh, every day, I believe. I, I haven't tried that. I usually just hit the, um, the uh, startup uh, button in the morning and, and it's ready when I get here. And, and that brings me to the next two things that for me, um, now that I have the Maverick, is almost a must have. One is the heated steering wheel. As I said, it's frosty in the morning and to get in here and to feel that warmth of that steering wheel is like, ah, boy, does that feel good. Now, this is not my first vehicle with a heated steering wheel or uh, auto start, but uh, I guess I'm at a place in life that, that some of you guys are, some of you guys who are, you know, this is like you're gonna be your daily driver. I mean, it's just for me, uh, if you're asking me personally, what option do you feel like I should absolutely get uh, that's one of them. Heated steering wheel, along with the other thing that's like instant therapy me, therapy for me to and from work, and that is the heated seats. To me, that's a, those are must-haves. I mean, if, if I had it to do all over again, those are two options that I would say I cannot uh, live without, or I don't want to live without. I can't say I can't, but let's just say, given the option, those are uh, two or three things that I say get it at all costs. Um, yeah, I mean, you think about it, the the Maverick has a lot of plastic surfaces in here and, and that is to reduce cost, but it also, it makes it very durable and, and it's easy to clean. I would say this is one of the easiest vehicles to keep clean that I have ever had. So those are must haves. Heated steering wheels, auto start, remote start, I should say and the heated seats gotta have them now uh we talked about the fair lane being up for sale check that out uh those are my great options that i i, I mean i love the last thing that we're going to talk about is for you guys the guys all of you guys who are out there uh waiting for your mavericks we have some big news and matter of fact so you guys can see me better because the sun is going down here in virginia it's getting cold out here so i'm going to back in here and we're going to go inside and we're going to we're going to talk about the Maverick. Now, this <laughs> is going to be good news or bad news or both. So, please listen to the end of the video because uh yeah, this is something that you guys who are waiting for your Mavericks are going to want to hear. 
Okay, guys, this is going to be either considered good news or bad news, however you want to look at it. Well, according to the recent memo put out by Ford, um, they're going to allow those people who are in line for a hybrid who could <laughs> and post most, most likely will be delayed um, due to the uh, build restraints or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're going to allow you, if you have an order in for a hybrid, to switch to an EcoBoost um, engine and keep your place in line wherever you are right now. Because apparently what is happening, and I know you guys who have orders in have already, have already probably gotten notices. Uh, they've pushed your orders back. Um, you know, basically putting you not even telling some of the people are telling me that they haven't even been notified of when their hybrids uh, will be built. So what Ford is saying now is if you really want your Maverick bad enough to change from a hybrid, most people who, that I've experienced who have hybrids said that's why they wanted the Maverick because they wanted a hybrid. So there's this is not going to work for everybody. But for those people who really want their Maverick now and feel like, hey, you know what, I don't want to wait. They're going to allow you to keep your place in line and to go in and change your um, hybrid optioned Maverick um, to an EcoBoost. Now, for me, this wasn't an issue because I didn't want the hybrid. I didn't, you know, the hybrid was not um, something that I even uh, contemplated getting because I, I, I just wanted a gas engine. Now, for some of you guys who are on the fence, I will say this. I get great gas mileage with the, the, the EcoBoost. I mean, I've averaged as high as 37 miles to the gallon on the highway. And generally speaking, if I keep it in eco mode, I'm averaging around 23 uh, 22, 23 miles a gallon, you know, just regular in city driving. So, I mean, if you're, if you're one of those people that commutes and, and does a lot of in city driving, uh, you know, you probably did want the hybrid, but you know, it's one of those things that's either or, and I know what Ford is trying to do. Uh, they know that they're, I, and here's my opinion. Now this is going to be strictly my opinion based on what we're hearing is they have more hybrid orders than they're going to be able to fulfill. Obviously, if they're already wanting to do this and we haven't even gotten in to 2023 yet, I think some of the 2023s, uh, people who have the EcoBoost models, I think some of yours are being built. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not positive on that one. But what they're trying to alleviate is the great disappointment that some of you all have already experienced they don't want that to get worse. So they're trying to convert some of those people who ordered hybrids over to the EcoBoost model. And if they do that, one, they'll be able to get everybody, their Mavericks probably um, quicker. Uh, and those who may, <laughs> who are at the end of the list with a hybrid, who ordered their hybrid late, chances are based on <laughs> everything that we've, experienced already uh, this year, you're probably not going to be able to get it next year. That's that's tr strictly my opinion based on what we're hearing. Now, maybe it's something magical is going to happen and, and everybody who ordered a hybrid uh, is going to get theirs even if they get it late next year. I, I it's, uh, Unless something, like I say, something magical happens, I just don't see it happening. They shut down those orders after six days for a reason. Why? Do you think Ford, if they could sell more, wouldn't sell more if they thought that they could build them? Absolutely, they would. But what they're trying to do, and it's and, and here's what else they're offering. They're offering a discount um, for a few things. It says the team has addressed uh, many of the capacity constraints on specific accessories like spray and bed liner that existed for the 2022 Maverick. Effective immediately, we will be offering a special discount package 
for 2023 Maverick that contains the spray in bed liner, which is option 96G, and the cargo management system, item 61D, for a $495 MSRP. So in other words, for $495 more, you're going to get the spray in bed liner and the cargo management system. As standalone options, these retail for $495 MSRP spray and bed liner and $225 uh, cargo management system. So basically, they're saying they're going to give you a $225 uh, discount for the package. I know it, it doesn't sound like much when you're spending that kind of money on something to, um, yeah. So if you want to look at any more of this information, I encourage you, if you haven't already, join the um, Ford Maverick Truck Club because all of these type um, bulletins and <clears throat> updates are generally posted on the Ford um, Maverick Truck Club um, um, website. So uh, look at those and you'll be able to see all the itemized things that you're going to do. And, you know, you'll be able to, they keep you up to date more than I can. I, I honestly, I don't live on the site, so uh, I can't say that I'm on there a whole lot, but a lot of times we'll get a, a bulletin that will come out. I'll check it out. And this was one of those things that jumped out and I said, you know what? There are a lot of people who are or have ordered their Mavericks that watch my channel and maybe some of them are not aware of it, but definitely uh, go on the um, Truck Club website and join. Absolutely join because it's a great a uh, great place to find out information as well as discounts on parts and other people who are in the same community those people who are maverick owners or potential maverick owners so check that out because it's the ford maverick and that's what we're all about so um i'm gonna end this video here i mean we not have a lot of information about anything new coming up we won't have uh, a whole lot, like I said in the last video, we won't have a lot of brand new stuff coming out. We got the holidays coming in, and I'm working like a dog. I'm telling you, this is the earliest I've been home this week, and the sun is setting. It's it's rising when I leave and setting when I get home. So if you don't see a whole lot of content, just hang in there. We'll be back. But I do, I, I encourage you all who, 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 who are interested in the Fairlane, go on the um, eBay Motors and check that out. And... Uh, just let me know. I'll, I'll make you a very good deal on it because I'm, I'm, I am not anxious, but I'm. I, I really want to go ahead and move on with that. Uh, and if it doesn't sell um, within the next two weeks, I probably just won't sell it at all. Uh, I, don't, I don't pretty much do sales of cars. This is probably the latest in the year that I've ever done one, and uh, it's not a good time of the year because you're ending the. The business year and you're getting ready for you know everybody's getting ready for taxes and everything else as we go into 2023 so um thank you guys for watching the channel stay tuned we're going to be back with some more maverick stuff as soon as it comes out have a blessed day